hopefully this will crack everything open. I'm so excited, you guys. I need to know. <laughs> That's weird. <gasps> Did she get kidnapped? Hi, you guys, and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with more Duck Detective. So we just learned some juicy gossip that amongst this salami thief, there's a conspiracy happening. Someone is smuggling salami from the east to the west. And they framed Freddy because they didn't want their little conspiracy to be found out. Now the question is who? I think it has to be between Boris because he drives the buses that are transporting the meats. Margaret because she's got some suspicious stuff going on with Rufus, who's the third person I think is possibly involved. But we need to get to the bottom of this. Freddy, how you holding this up, This is getting intense, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you could need a little help? Oh gosh. You seem lonely. <laughs> I, I seem could be lonely. Your assistant. Oh god, it's like when Duck helps you in The Walking Dead. <laughs> I could be your ward. <laughs> what do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? <laughs> Talk someone into telling us the truth? Oh dear. Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> Just stay here. Like this? <laughs> yep, you're doing great. Poor Freddy. I feel for the guy. He's just doing the best with what he's got, you know? Stop hating on Freddy. <laughs> you good, bruh? Who would hire me at this age? <laughs> oh, maybe I can be a, a real estate agent. I always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Jesus. They do make pretty good money. It's just highly competitive. Can't ask her anything else. Oh. What you doing, buddy? Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Okay. Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? Alright. I've been doing very well so far, if I do say <laughs> so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. <laughs> I'm also thinking Manfred's a little suspicious since he's like, I don't care. And I'm like, someone could be doing illegal stuff in your, ooh, in your like business and you don't care. Oh my God. Throw bread to the fine beak of Lady Justice. Looking for a job will do almost anything. Buy my book. Dang. You are struggling, bruh. Murder at the beaver stand. When the damn broke beaver bicycle lost his mind. Oh my god. Crime and thrillers. How can I get it? There we go. Okay, so he's into that. A kidnapping and a kingpin. Never kidnap a king penguin. K kingpin on his birthday. Wow. <laughs> it's very specific. But what am I missing? Oh, just me. Ah, oh, come on. Social media account stalking me. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I mean, he likes, you're his hero. I mean, if I was really into cooking and like, you know, Gordon Ramsay showed up to my job one day, I'd be pretty hyped, you know? <sighs> Someone is clearly obsessed with detectives. <laughs> Jeez. Um, we already looked at her stuff. Oh, did I look at this sticky note? Is that different? This folder says manual for CS agents. How and when to create vouchers correctly. I'm falling asleep just reading the <laughs> title. Huh. That seems sort of important. Let's talk to Manfred. He was being hecka suspicious. Talking about, I don't have time for this. I know illegal stuff's happening, but that's none of your business. He's not in here, so I can check his safe. Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Yes. Time to see what's behind his precious family portrait. Am I gonna get caught? A safe. Ooh. Oh, CS00BD. 
Customer service zero zero BD. Um, I know the zero zero is Freddy because that was on her complaints thing. And she said their desk was smelly, which I assume is Freddy because he's got all the coffee cups. Customer service, Freddy. I don't know what BD is though. And are these numbers? Okay. Oh, okay. I need a little bit more info before I can get in there. Hmm. Let's go check on Mr. Boris. Like, I don't, I don't understand how an employee matches to a number. Oh, what are you doing out here? You are very suspicious. <laughs> it's not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy mm. theories, is it? Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Like Seems you. a bit cheap. Ah. Cheap. Interesting. Can I talk to him about anything? Nah. Where is Boris? Maybe he's talking to what's her name. Why are you out here? Like a smoke break or something? She's very suspicious. Like he's trying to like cover his tracks or something. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. Okay. What happened here? S Sophie left. Oh. And she left a note on the desk. Hmm. That's strange. Oh, it's her computer. Unknown number. Anymore, I'll tell them everything. Something anymore, I'll tell them everything. Oh, she's suspicious. Don't. <laughs> you block this number, click here to unblock. Ooh. Someone didn't want her to tell the truth. Ida for ex expecting my coworkers to remember my birthday. It's my 20, 20th birthday today and no one congratulated me. I don't need much, but at least a handwritten card would have been nice. So she was mad that her birthday was missed and she said, I'll tell them everything. Oh, maybe she was talking to uh, Boris and they broke up because it sounds like she broke up with him because if he broke up with her, he wouldn't be trying to win her back, you know, but if she broke up with him, he's trying to win her back with like the necklace and whatnot. So she's like, you know, I don't want to date you anymore. I'll tell them everything about your legal business. And he's saying, don't. Mm. I can't believe she complained about this online. Yeah. Can I ask her anything else? No. What's this? Walkie talkie? Well, the last dialed number on this phone is Ooh, that sounds familiar. I've seen that number before, but I don't remember where. Um Oh. Someone said something, just call this number <gasps> it was this yeah the police why did she call the police she was gonna tell the police about the illegal stuff what do you have to say she left just like this <gasps> maybe she's at home should I look for her oh Who is in, involved in this? For her to be that? What is this? Oh, the note. <laughs> Does she call the police? That's it. I quit. Oh. Why? You'll never see me again. Sophie. Huh. Hmm. 
Why did she quit though? What a dramatic. Because she knows turn. about the illegal stuff, but like I should what? Keep this as evidence. Okay, so now I can ask people about it. Like you, suspicious dude. Did you read Sophie's letter? I did. Something's off. So apparently he didn't know about it. Different. Hmm. What about you? You were besties. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? It doesn't make sense at all that she'd just suddenly leave. She definitely needs the money. And she would have told me. I'm her friend. Oh. Huh. Something is going on. I just don't know what. <laughs> I know someone's behind something, but I don't know what. It's killing me to not know. What about you? What do what you do know? What do you think of this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? <laughs> the Wiggles did it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've got extensive knowledge on kids' shows. <laughs> Let's see. Manfred. Mr. Suspicious. What do you have to say about this? Have you this? seen Sophie's resignation? <laughs> no. Oh? I can't say it comes at a surprise. Okay. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. Hmm. Okay, so perhaps you aren't involved, but why would she call the police? I'm still just trying to wrap my brain around it. She knows someone who's involved with the illegal stuff, but who? I asked you everything. Maybe Freddy knows? <laughs> Freddy's actually like the secret mastermind behind it all. <laughs> We just didn't suspect it. What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Huh? I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. Ah. <laughs> I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people not listening to me? Maybe we should be listening to you, because you're close with Boris. <sighs> do I have enough to solve anything? No, I'm still missing stuff. What do I need to do? Boss's office and a coffee pot. In the kitchen. What about the coffee pot? Oh, there's a cell phone in here. Whose phone? Katie Senjoyer. So this is either... Oh, KTS Enjoyer. This is either Laura's phone or Sophie's phone almost dead dang are your parents still angry at you okay so i'm guessing this is sophie's phone because laura said she was having issues with her family okay that's weird <gasps> did she get kidnapped huh 309 309 that was a long time ago Oh, this is freaky. Did she get kidnapped? Why would she leave her phone? This is curious. Is that why she called the police? She probably messaged them on the computer that she's got to tell everybody. And they snuck in trying to kidnap her. But then why would her phone be in here? She left out why of here. Why she write like this? I'm so confused. Like, if she got kidnapped, why would the kidnapper take her to the kitchen and then take her out, you know? Now I'm really, like, what is happening? This is getting good. I gotta figure out the boss's... the thing in the boss's room. So, I assume people are... CS is customer service. Maybe it's the number of people. Customer service has two people. 
the zero zero is Freddy, and there's just one of him. I don't know what BD refers to though. <laughs> Baby daddy. <laughs> um, baggage department, bus drivers. Oh, okay. One. Sorry, I was thinking baggage, which made me think of the bus, which bus driver. Is that it? No. Who all is in? I know that both. Laura and Margaret are in customer service, but maybe there's more than one? I know it's not the janitor. Maybe, what's her name, counts as one? Maybe just one? Ugh. Dang it. She said she does the job of five people. No? <laughs> uh. Who is zero zero? Or maybe it's not zero zero, maybe it's a department. Um. Who's all in that department? Because there's two in customer service. There's only one bus driver. Or maybe there's more than one bus driver. He just, I think there was four on that thing. Hey, hey. Look at my memory, super slitching. Because on that piece of paper that was like, um, something about the bus drivers the number four was on there but i thought that was the four stops but hey <laughs> it worked out we got there <laughs> oh i always wanted to open a ridiculously big safe <laughs> let's see what secrets he has in here oh so smart keys to the security room yes please oh dear ingrid who's ingrid Two letters, different handwriting. Dear Ingrid, I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently, so his wife, but things are looking up. I would love to take you to a romantic getaway to Hollandaise. Love, Manfred. Who's Ingrid? A romantic holiday. I know, what's her name? She's trying to go on a vacation, talking to some cutie. So I'm like, maybe Ingrid is... What's her name? Margaret? Hmm. But he said you and the kids. Uh, something up demands. Something employee of the month. TV. Oh. Are these errands or something? So he has to pick a employee of the month, which he chose Rufus. TV in the in my room. Keep quiet about the thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, his demands to someone else. Or to him, I guess. TV in my room. Who has a room? I don't think anyone has a room. Keep quiet about the thing. Do all the things and nothing will happen to you. But who has a room? Because the, the, the customer service, they all share a room. Boris doesn't have a room. There's a server room. So maybe it's whoever works in the server room that we haven't met yet. Oh. Off a lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Wait, this key here it is. The yes. key for the server room. Hopefully, this will crack everything open. I'm so excited, you guys. I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.